This is a Bureau of the Ships World War II statometer. It's generally used to look at the range of how far a boat is for uh, gunnery reasons. It's similar to a sextant um, in the sense that you're using, it measures angles. Um, it's actually calibrated in yards. Actually, it's got yards on this scale and it has the height of the object you're looking at in feet. Um, generally they use the length of a boat or from the waterline up to a mast. And this is set to where this is moved fore and aft on here to set the height. So if you want to look at a boat that was 100 feet long, you can move this to be here or a boat that has a mast height of 100 feet. And you look through this end, the telescope's missing, and this is turned until the images coincide. And so you have the image coming through this mirror and come hitting this one over here and going back so your eye is over here looking through this. And you align this to the images line up and you read the number of yards uh, on this scale. This is a magnifier. Now, this particular one is missing a block that's in here. I got this about 30 years ago. 20 years ago anyways, and the block on there makes a scale to where it reads correct on this. So this one I have to go ahead and move inboard on one unit because the metal block is missing. There's also a telescope that goes on here that's missing that just adds some magnification. But this whole thing went underwater in Katrina and just shows how robust stuff is because this is solid brass and I was able just to clean it all up even though it went under salt water. Uh, this doesn't have the original mirror on it. This is just one I put on that's from a dime store. But again, what you do is you line up the image uh, and then you read the number of yards here. And this actually, the finest on here, of course, has got infinity. And the next one, I believe, is um, 10,000 yards. So that's 30,000 feet. So it's about six miles. It's got a long, long range on there. Typically they use these to get this spacing for uh, ships in a formation or it's used for gunnery to estimate how far the uh, boat is away to launch a shell at it. And these are made by Schick uh, in World War II. This one was made in 1943. This one of course is incomplete. The wooden box has got fairly rough shape. Um, the solid brass it's similar to a, a sextant in, in that you coincide in, images and you're also basically using it to align angles but in this one you're inputting uh, a feature on the object you're looking at. Again that's got a scale here from 50 feet to like 200 so you need to know on a boat or whatever you're looking at um, what a feature is. Is it you know a boat that's 100 feet long and then you're going to use the unit horizontally. Uh, if it's you know 100 foot vertically you're going to hold the instrument in this position and then this is swung back and forth and the object actually is going, the image is coming from this side, hits this mirror, goes over and hits this one and goes to your eye. So your eye is looking over here and you're looking out. And then this is adjusted to the images coincide and then you read the uh, distance here. So to calibrate one of these if you had something and you can set this in infinity you can actually undo these screws here and rotate this around and clamp it down as one way to adjust this to infinity. It also has some tilts on here on the mirror which is basically used to get the images so they kind of line up fairly well and there's some there's an adjustment over here you can do the same thing but the primary one is just to undo this these three screws and then rotate this around again on this one there's a block missing that goes into here because this tip of this worm screw it's a double thread you really shouldn't be rubbing against it. there's a block that was on here this is covered by a US patent too it was done 
in the 40s. It's got feet here, three feet, so can, you can use this to stand it on a table like this uh, instead of holding it in your hand to look through it. It's a pretty interesting device called a statometer. Bought this at the TRW swap meet in El Segundo, California, at the ham radio swap meet. It's where this was purchased. I think it was only like ten or fifteen dollars and it was um, it was incomplete then. This piece is missing, and then also the the uh, extra little telescope that goes on here is missing. That's just used to get some magnification. You really don't need it for uh, you know, if you're looking fairly close, it's a really kind of a beefy design. This thing uh, went completely under salt water and still is in pretty darn good, great shape. So they really did a swell job on these things. It's amazing how robust this is. And uh, I actually went through and fixed this. I mean, when I got it with this, a dumb mirror from the dime store. And if you can believe it, that actually works really well. Is just putting a dime store mirror on there. So this was built to, you know, if this thing got bumped around, you could fix this thing with, you know, just a scrap piece of mirror. It's actually really cool. Statometer from 1943 made by Schick.